hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stellar Tactics. In the previous episode we cleared the slice mines on um, Achmedius 2 and um, today we'll start by reporting the success of our mission, the owner of the mine, Scarby Horizog. And hopefully, as a reward, he'll tell us more about the FTL drive that someone in this system should have. So let's uh, talk to him and see what we can learn from him. Scarby turns and looks at you, a little surprised. So, you did it then. Yes, the mine is clear. We found this data log on the foreman. Ah, whatever that say. It don't matter to me. Contractors come and go, and they always complaining. You can't just hand that over to old Scarby now if you want to finish the arrangement. Do you really care if he's responsible for their death? I don't want to piss him off. Let's just go with the other option. No problem. They had it coming. Hmm. You may not be as soft as you look. You'll do well to do. You'll do well to do your work and keep your mouth shut when you come asking for help. Uh, you're looking for uh, Festus, an old fella who collects all kinds of tech. You can find him on the Halamis ore station in one of the back rooms. Keeps a code of four seven six three on his door. Okay. Time to write that down. Four seven. It's been a while since I played the game with the paper right next to me to take notes. Four seven six three. Reminds me of the old good times of the um, old dungeon crawlers where you have to draw your own map. Okay, get it. Festus, Halamis Ore. That's right, and uh, he's all business, that one. Don't let on that you're desperate, or he'll check this price sky high on you. Good luck. Okay, so we know what we needed to know. Let's leave this tiny station. There really isn't anything too interesting. Although later when we get to mining, we'll be using this station quite often to just sell the ore and... Uh, uh, and the minerals that we mine. Oh, by the way, and I ch tried to find some information about the bleeding, as we are trying to figure out in the in the previous episode how exactly it works. And I didn't find anything except that it used to cause some bugs. So that just uh, so early in the. The development that there really are not all the information available on web yet. I'll just keep digging. Maybe I'll ask somewhere on forums how it works exactly because I'm quite curious. I'd really like to figure out how much damage it's actually doing. One. One. There we go. So. Column is or That's the one, right? How far is it? On the other side of the sector, of course. Well, okay, let's head there. As fast as possible. But we'll have to go around the planet because of gravity well. Yeah, yeah, I'm back in the gravity wall of the planet. Come on, let's keep moving. Uh, why can't I move faster? Okay, let's go. I wasn't sure how much um, will Scarby tell us, uh, so I started recording 
uh, before I talked to him, had I known that um, it would be only like, what, 10 sentences, maybe nothing really important, I'd probably just uh, do that off camera and uh, start it recording on the Halamis Ore. Oh, what is this? Quickly get there. No, this is just some debris. Or was it debris or was it? Yeah, it was. It was debris. It looked like some metal object. Sometimes it's possible to find some interesting objects floating in space. I hope that later there'll be the option to like somehow interact with them to visit this this old ships or scan if there is an atmosphere inside still or even just go in uh, with some protective suits uh really gravity well here because of the moon and uh, this looks like the station we have to visit. Come on, come on, come on, almost there. There we go. Request docking permission. <clears throat> docking. And uh, finally, we are in. So, what's where the Dali? That's not uh, a guy we are looking for. I think, if I remember correctly, we want to go this way. Well, let's try to talk with this guy first. I don't have anything to say to you right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was the code? 4763. Can I just type it? No, I have to click on the numbers. 4763. Enter. There we go. And here is Festus. Crystal old man is startled, looking at you with wild eyes. What the how? The, how did you get in here? Scarby Harzok sent us. You must be Festus. Festus mutters under his teeth, clearly not happy. Now, just because I do the odd bit of business with that fool doesn't give him the right to hand out my passcode. And these being odd times, odd times indeed. There's something of food. I can feel it in my bones wrong well that's the problem i know something's a food them other crew members uh, this been locking doors and sneaking around see i wanted to head down to my bunk after my last shift but the doors locked and uh, they won't let me in i had to curl up here for my shut eye what's more there's locked the storage area too that and a few crew members ain't being around for a few days i just know something is wrong Scarry mentioned you might have a, an FTL, an FTL drive for sale. Yeah, I got one, but you can't have it if I can't get to it. Like I said, I can't get to my goods that are locked in the storage area. Well, uh, tell you what, you get to the bottom of what's going on around here, and I'll give you a good deal on the drive. I'm tired, and I want to, uh, my bunk bed. Hard metal floors are no place for old bones. Okay, sounds good. I'll look into it. I'd start with the crew in the next bay. They've been slinking around for days now. I just know they are up to no good. Sure. Um, is it this guy? I like you sit like 
uh, he's sitting here pretending that it's like just chilling with the rocket launcher on his back. Nope. There we go. Harvey Rankle. Uh, had to go and stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Just to think something wrong. Well, this will be the first time he's ever been right. Paranoid old bastard. Doesn't matter. You're a problem. Let's get this over with. Pastus needs uh, to go next. Oh, that was fast. Fine. But you are making a mistake. I doubt it. I'll go see about that. Um, okay, this looks like a pretty nasty weapon, yeah, minigun, um, <laughs> stun grenade time, and we have also the guy with the rocket launcher behind us. Let's first make sure that can't get hit by a rocket from behind. I think that's a good start. Now, we try to stun them without stunning half of our team. This should work. Good. Stun grenades are just way too strong. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll just move behind the corner. Our first target is the guy with the minigun. And let's see. I hope that this is enough. so good but we have to kill them fast so that we can turn on the guy who's coming from behind that was a nice hit and the turn right behind the corner Move a little bit and keep shooting. Good. <clears throat> there we go. Now how far how far can we go with four movement points? Well, Move back a bit and uh, like with eight points, I can't even get uh, to the other corner. 
I guess I'll just stay here. Here we have the same problem. I really don't want to stay stacked up like this. So he's pretty close. I may still be visible. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> I expected one shot, so it wasn't too bad. And he now has to reload. So let's get somewhere in position. And I hope that we can. Oh, not. Really? I thought that I would have enough action points. That's pretty tough. Let's try to move closer. Maybe that'll force him to switch weapons. I don't think you want to use the rocket launcher in basically melee range. Yeah, that's better. Okay. It was close, but I think now he'll go down. Good. Can we learn something from their items? We have enough shotgun ammo, but maybe if I reload everyone, be able to take at least some of it. Yep. I think we took a little bit. Med kit, more med kits, and more importantly, a data card. Harvey Rankle, that's what we need. Where does it start? I think this should be the first one. This is it, the chance I've been waiting for. They contacted me at a starbase just outside the core worlds. I'm to take the crates with me to my new job at Hamas Ore and place them unlocked in storage areas. I'm then to lead my co-workers into the storage areas and knock them out with a stun prod just inside the entrance. I'm not to enter further into the area once this is done. My friends have been given a pass, so they are not a part of the deal. Once this is done, there will be other similar jobs. Arrived at the station, met up with my buddies and placed the crates in storage. We have brought two of our co-workers into the storage area already. Uh, the second time, we saw something, a green line around the corner and the shuffling sound. Suffice it to say, we left and locked the door quickly. What the fuck was that? Whatever, I don't give a shit. I just want to get off this bucket and get paid. One left. Faster. That fucker keeps himself locked up all the time, so we haven't been able to get to him yet. Next time he pokes his head out, we'll clobber him. Put him in the storage area and beat it off this uh, and beat it off this heap. There are weird sounds coming out of the storage and I'm completely freaked out. Me freaked out. That's a stretch. Hey! Oh, this is where the problem started, and now we have to solve it. Let's wait until we are completely healed. Well, we can move at least to the main room. Can we loot something? Oh, there is something we can loot. I have no idea what this really is. Looks like some kind of futuristic coffee machine, but 
Maybe there's something in it. Medkits. I'll take medkits. And where do we start? Doesn't really matter. Let's start here. But problem is... We may need a code. And I didn't see any code. Door is locked. But it's not locked anymore. Okay. That's quite a lot of blood. And... Uh, also, body parts. Range. I know that smell. Beige. Hey, more mutants. There are doors on both sides. I love that sound. How many? Two... Page one is page initiate and the other one can't see him yet. Uh, let's spread out a bit if possible. Move here. Where's the other one? There, and that's what. Both phage initiates. Oh, this is pretty tough. May not be able to kill him on the first turn. Yeah, especially when we miss ninety three percent shot. Okay. Let's just take some damage, I guess. Or maybe not. I wonder why they sometimes just don't do anything and that there is no, like, debuff visible on them. Does he spend, what, like, one movement uh, or action point? Or the other one. Yeah, are they blocked somehow? I don't think so. He could just attack Akredon easily. He could attack anyone here. And yeah, that's one. So we have to kill 11 more. Well, it shouldn't be too difficult. These phage mutants usually don't do that much damage it's more like a target practice i think there we go uh, oh hey even armor with intelligence or boots with intelligence let's take both and this is pistol ammo oh, we still need more okay what about some more loot or first of all it's one i invested into intelligence in one of our guys here that's the um electronic specialist which means Silvan will get the boots with intelligence. I'll just check if it really is an upgrade. Well, it is, just the extra intelligence. Okay. There we go. Now we can check the lockers. That's a lot of shotgun ammo. Again, can we... I have to... First close the locker. Now I can reload. I can open it and take a little bit of ammo. Anything else? Nope. Looks cool. 
only thing that is missing is like twitching and kill. Okay, let's move out of here. Uh, ideal as a group. Oh, I think we disturbed them while they were having a dinner. But I think they are almost done. Hmm, I'll just again spread out and we will wait for them. Just kill them when they are trying to get through the door. Move to the side. Again, just a phage initiate. The other one, also phage initiate. Oh, this is... What's that? That didn't look like phage initiate. Phage what? Usurper. Huh. Come on. Good. That's number three. And now the usurper. Are you gonna attack or not yet? Oh, he is taking quite a lot of damage, so shouldn't be a problem. And the initiate. I think there just isn't enough room for them in the doors to get through. It's the only explanation why they are behaving so strangely. Good. You have one more shot. Yep. And unless we miss, this should be a kill. Okay, he's running away, trying to hide behind those crates. Um, I'll just wait for him, he should come back the next turn. Or, can we shoot from here? No, he's hidden. Let's give him a turn, he'll come back. I think, yeah. slice shaker and this is another big gun again that's electro damage this one has a socket but we don't have anything to socket into it another SMG that can't Use just single shots. Well, I'll take it and sell it. What is this? This should be an upgrade for someone. A repair storage canister. Ah, shiny new armor. Yeah, that's definitely an upgrade, but maybe let's first give it to people who are usually in melee range. Six, five, still an upgrade. 
seven. Okay. And uh, another armor again, decent upgrade. Oh, reload. We'll get this one. Uh, three, okay, there. Nine. Six. Four. Good. Always when it's four numbers, it's like, I can do that. But when it's five, or worst case scenario, when it's six. Like, I can't do six on the first attempt. Like, never. Five, rarely. Another armor piece. Do we still need this upgrade? Seven, nine, and this is eight, right? Okay, so we can sell this one. And what about the other locker? Just more ammo. Maybe just open this door there's some description somewhere where does this lead no there is no way how to open the door it's also possible that i'm just trying to open the door uh that would suck us out to space Hello, page initiate. There was one more. Let me just go closer. But this time it's us who can start the combat and we can start shooting from above. Time for some target practice. Yeah, exactly. Back. Probably. Oh, it's actually pretty good. I like this shotgun. Back one step. Good. Let's finish off this one first. Damn it, it's like one hit point. more shots but he's trying to run away which means we are fine well that was easy five to go nothing interesting what is this wind power armor brace no nothing i found something reload and again let's check if we can loot something that is a crate That's just more ammo. Uh -huh. What is this? Oh. 
That's a lot of green shit. Look at that, it's everywhere. Can we move forward, please? There we go. Okay, uh, let's turn off the group movement. How can we do it? Well, isn't enough room. Maybe. Maybe. can do it. There. A little bit more to the side. Ideal. Okay. And now we can send just one person down. Stop it. Yeah, I definitely don't want to find them here. Oh, there's another one. Initiate, 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 initiate. And Phage Pyro. That sounds dangerous. The chance to hit 22, that's not enough. Okay, throw the grenade, please. Can't reach the pyro, but at least we can hit these four. Don't want to use the stun grenade yet, it's the last one, and I'd like to stun the pyro, and of course, it was too close. Damn it. There we go. Now they are nicely stacked up. Throw the grenade, maybe? What the hell? Oh, I can't throw the grenade here. Okay, I got it. This should work. Pyro didn't take basically any damage. That looked like it hurt. Level up. Oh, okay, so he can't get through. Perfect. Not enough AP. Well, move on then. And keep shooting. I'll have to buy more stun grenades when we are done with this. Should 
the kill. Good. Um, yeah, now we might have a problem. Can we hit his head? What is it? Eighty three percent. Come on, crit. That's quite a lot of damage. Stop right now. Oh, for a second I thought that it was just one hit point and he survived. Well. Just keeps getting better. Okay, first the level up because that increases our chance to hit. Um, I'll always do. Oh, who is this? SMGs and. Uh, and heavy weapons. For heavy weapons, we need strength. That's the problem. Let's go. Two points into strength, one point endurance, one point dexterity, and one point perception. And that also reminds me that I could just switch from the SMG to something a little bit more effective, as long as we can hit, of course. 47, that sounds much better. Sorry. Okay, I got level up for that. And rounds two points into dexterity, two points into perception. Perfect, I can move. Hopefully, now I'll be hitting the right target. Try not to miss. Twice. There we go. Micro camera, don't care, worn data device or data drive. Can't get any data from that. Med kits. Huh? What is this? More med kits. I would like to get the medium ones. The small ones kinda suck. And uh, is there anything around here? There is a crate and there is a locker. Oh, hello. Plus one dexterity, 1% 1 chance to hit for heavy weapons. And I think we have heavy weapons with uh, a socket. 
But I'll try that in the next episode. And... Please tell me that I don't have to hack this. Of course I do. Three. Seven. Six. Three. Seven. Oh, I made it. Perfect. It's 11 shotgun trigger group. So this allows us to use shotguns with burst. And rare sylvan rifle grip. This is a good one. But we have to get rifle with sockets. Chance to hit 7% plus 1 dexterity. This is a really good one. Oh, and one more crate. One. Grenades, flamer fuel, and health packs. Good. So many corpses. But well, let's go back. We'll report our success. I heard the Rookers hit behind the crates there. Was I right? You're right, some of the crew were involved with Phage. Now, why would they go and do a thing like that? That's just crazy. And Phage here? Phage has only been reported in the Border Worlds. Come to think of it, that one crew member was hired on from the Border Worlds just a few weeks ago. Well, I'll be damned. And you sorted this out yourselves? Yes, and how about that FTL drive? Yes, she's a sweet one. A bit rough around the edges, but I cleaned her up good. Won't find another in the system. Makes it kind of valuable, I think. But uh, seeing as you helped me out here and likely saved my gizzard, I'll give you a good deal on her. Say, 25,000 credits. Uh, 25,000 credits. We don't have near enough for that. Well, if you have a mining laser, you can head out to the asteroid field and earn that in no time at all. I'm not in the business of handing out deals to just anyone. I'd like to retire someday. You can sell the unrefined ore to me or Scarby's assistant. Mining, okay, we'll get it we'll get give that a try. Alright then, uh, I'll be here mopping this up. That's 25,000 credits, not the credit less. I'll hold on to the drive until you bring me the money. Got it, 25,000. And here, you can continue to mine resources, this is not him talking anymore. Trade goods and work for a sub in more pain at the abandoned helm is research facility. To earn enough money to buy the FTL drive, so you won't be able to use it until alpha. Uh, trading goods between stations in any system will net you much less than trading between systems. You can earn good money by mining asteroids in the system and selling the ore to ore vendors. Much more is coming during Alpha. See the roadmap pinned in the top of the Steam discussion forums for more info. Please post your feedback on the discussion forums and thank you for supporting Star Tactics. So this is where the storyline ends for now, but um, you can st still keep playing. I'll probably do one mission in that research facility. Off camera, I will do some mining. It's uh, really quite easy. You just jump on the ship, fly to the asteroid field, uh, click on an asteroid and if you are in range the mining laser automatically starts mining uh, when you fill up your uh, cargo hold you just fly back and sell uh, all the ore that you get and when you are mining the ore that you are getting is just randomly generated so the higher the mining skill I think the more the faster you are getting the ore and the higher chance there is that you get some kind of rare metal that sells for, for a lot a lot more money. That's basically it. Uh, nothing more to say about mining, except it's quite easy to make 25,000, just like two mining mining trips, trips, and we should have the money. But uh, once I'm done with that, I'll buy the FTL drive, 
and then fly to the research facility and i think there we will start the next episode do one mission there so that you can see how that uh, long lost uh, research facility looks like and yeah i think that will be all for the series and we'll just wait for more content and then come back to it Although the missions in the research facility are quite long, so I would say we still have like three episodes to go, maybe. Uh, and um, yeah, as usual, I hope that you like this one. I hope that you're going to join me for the next episode again. Until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.